When I graduated college as a civil engineer, a lot of my friends who were going into construction told me, eh, you don't need to get your PE license in construction. It's not necessary. You're not doing design work. You don't need it. Really? Well, today's guest would beg to differ. In today's episode of Pass the PE Exam, I have with me Joanna Mason. Joanna is a licensed professional engineer. She's also a senior project manager at Schnabel Geostructural Design and Construction, and she works on mega construction projects. And she's gonna talk about how the PE license has been extremely helpful in her career in construction. First, a word from our sponsor, PPI Kaplan. PPI Kaplan has been helping engineers pass their licensing exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. All right, so I have my guest with me today, Joanna Mason. Joanna is a licensed professional engineer. She's a senior project manager at Schnabel Geostructural Design and Construction. And Joanna, we're both civil engineers. We both studied civil engineering. When I graduated, I had some friends that went into construction. I went into design and they all told me they didn't need their license. It's not that important in construction and they didn't go after it. You're in construction. You manage very large, complex geotechnical construction projects, and you are licensed. So I was wondering if you could just tell us a little bit about how that license has been helpful to you in your career in the construction side of engineering. So with with the license, I'm able to stamp our shop drawings that we do. We're a design-build contractor. We are in construction, but we're design-build contractors. So A lot of our project managers have PE licenses. We also have project managers that have more of a construction management degree or came up from the field into the office to be a project manager. Um, It doesn't necessarily let me do things on my own per se. Like I can't, I'm not just a one man band here where I'm just stamping (laughs) my own drawings and, and stuff. But I, I, I do think that it puts you in a community of professionals who are dedicated to the work that they do. Um, It, you know, take the, take the EIT when you graduate, because that's the hardest part about getting the whole PE, you know, it's that, it's those, all those topics that you covered for four years. um, You're not going to ever remember any of the thermodynamic stuff when you're, 35 years old. There's no way. So, yeah. I mean, careers change. I, I would just say it's, it's a, it puts you in just a different level of, of the professionals in the community. Yeah. The credibility um, factor. Right? Yeah. I mean, credibility. Just, yep. Just with mm-hmm. those, those letters kind of behind your name. And I think also, you know, if there is a situation, let's say where someone went into construction and maybe they didn't quote unquote need their license, right. They could still be like a civil engineer, have a civil engineering background or whatever their, Mm -hmm. their discipline is. But at the same time, it's kind of like number one, I think going through the process of getting your PE license, you learn a lot about engineering in general, right. Cause Mm -hmm. obviously it's hours and hours of preparation to take these two exams. So you're learning different things. You also have to understand the liabilities that go along with being a professional mm-hmm. engineer once you get your license and make sure you have insurance and all that kind of stuff, which to me just raises your level of education around engineering right. and construction and everything else that goes on. And, you know, I do think it's also, like you said, like if you go to a client or if you sign something and you have those letters after your name, it's just, you, you kind of receive differently. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a, it's a different level of respect because it's not something that is easy to come by. You know, you have to do the four years of work experience when you're, you're actually working with someone on design. And so I, 
I would always advise and I advise interns that work for us. I say, go work for a consultant for a couple of years, work for a structural engineer for a couple of years, and then go, go after the construction glory or what, mm-hmm. whatever you want to do. Like, oh, yeah, you don't have to do that for your whole career, but it, it gives you the background understanding how things are built so that you ultimately know how to manage all the pieces that go into it. Which I, I think a lot of just a lot of people really lack. They're just so focused on schedule. They don't understand how the puzzle pieces go together and why things have to happen. Can't put the cart before the horse on a lot of construction items. And it's really important to to understand the design behind that. Yeah. And I know you're in a design build organization Mm -hmm. as opposed to just a pure construction company. But I would have to think, even if someone is an engineer in a pure construction company, that their growth in that company, you know, with a professional engineering license is still going to be, they're going to have more opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would absolutely say that. Yep. Right. So that's just, I, I wanted to ask Joanna about this a little bit because I just get people all the time in the construction industry that say, you don't need your license. You don't need to spend all that time on the exam. It's not that important. And to me, there's no reason not to get it, quite frankly. I mean, you don't know where your career is going to go. And if you have the ability, the education, and you can meet the requirements of taking the exam, you know, do it. I know it's a lot of studying and it's going to cost, you know, six months of a lot of studying or whatever it is in your career or your life. But in 10 years from now, it's you're going to look lip. back and be like, yeah, it's, it was nothing. And I can't, and if you didn't get it, you're going to say, you know, why didn't I do it back then? Because now it's like getting, you know, it's virtually impossible for me to trigger, figure out how to do that. If you even have the right experience. And the one last thing that I'll say about it, Joanna, at least from my experience, is, even if you were in a company that was so big and whether or not you had your license may not totally affect your career, which I still think it would, but if it didn't, I still think there's like a confidence Mm-hmm. that it gives you. I don't know if you would agree, but just that you have that license. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, and it, and it just, it gives you a, a basic understanding of the different disciplines of civil engineering that all, you know, have to play in together. Cause there's the survey component, there's structural, there's geotech, there's hydrology, all these things that all these topics that maybe you're not exposed to in your, in your daily work but they're all just as important as one another in projects. So it's a, it's a good basic understanding of the other industries, you know, the, the specialties within the industry of civil engineering. Yeah, for sure. And just as we wrap up, I'll tell a quick story. We're doing some leadership and project management training and development for an organization. And I was talking with the CEO And they are in the design world, but they do get involved in construction, construction administration. And we did some interviews with some of their professionals and ahead of designing this program. And this one guy that I interviewed, I mean, he was super sharp, seemed like a real leader. And so when I talked to the CEO, I was kind of, hey, you know, this one guy, I think he's going to be a big leader in your firm. He's, you know, really sharp. And what he said to me was like, yeah, but he just doesn't have his license, you know? And Mm -hmm. to me, it was like, man, like, you know, Why doesn't he have his license? You know, get your license. So um, so I'm just saying that because you may be watching this because you're going to study for the PE, you're debating on it. It's a lot of work. Is it worth my investment? Like this is what leaders in your firm talk about when they're thinking about Mm -hmm. who they think are going to be the next generation of leaders and who they can give big projects and big responsibility. And you don't want them saying, um, yeah, you know, he or she, they just, they don't have their license. So they're really limited. They're very, they're, they're kind of capped at a certain level. There's no need to put yourself in, in that position. There really isn't because mm-hmm. we have videos here that can help you. There's lots of courses out there and that can help you. Um, so really take the initiative and and hopefully it'll be, it'll, you know, help you get over the hump there, get that license and really open up a lot of doors for you. And that that's what it does. Right. Yeah. So Joanna, thank you for spending time with us here. Thanks for sharing some of your experience as a PE and uh, really appreciate the time. Okay. Nice talking with you. I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Joanna. This episode was very important to me because like I said in the beginning, I have had many engineers tell me that because they're in construction, they don't need their license. 
I don't believe that that is true. I also don't believe that it is a wise career decision. And I hope that through this episode, Joanna has convinced you otherwise. Please consider subscribing to our channel here. We do put up videos like this on a regular basis to help engineers pass the PE exam. And please, if you have specific questions or comments, leave them in the comments below the video and I will read and respond to them. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam. Thank you.